Hello, Jorito. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nice that you are good. Good. Let's see. And the other ones, why aren't they connected? They are checking on marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> are, <laughs> they are in the stadium right now. Yeah, the, the streets here in San Salvador are crazy, my God. Traffic. Ah, yeah. It, it's like there was like a lot of people, a lot of cards. There was not, a, well, I finished work early today at 2.30, but it was very crowded. And because my work is near Salvador del Mundo, I it's very crazy. But <clears throat> all this area of the stadium was full. Reporters, people, international press, many things. So, and I was like, in the middle of everything. <laughs> I was like, I am a reporter. I am an international reporter. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Speaking in English for them. Sí, se veía que bastante gente está caminando y iba por las calles. Yeah. Directamente para el estadio. Yeah. It's, it's because they were waiting outside. When I passed, it was 3.30, in 3.30 p.m. And there were people in line waiting to enter. There was a lot of people waiting. And right now it's full, totally full. Yeah, nice. So nice that they went to see Marshmallow. Yeah, ojalá you ever porque nosotros no fuimos. <laughs> yeah, no les deseo el mal, pero. Poor Marshmallow. Yeah, poor Marshmallow. Hey, it's going to melt. Se va a derretir. The Marshmallow. Well, I think they are checking on the president because they never connect. And right now, there is like the, the cadena nacional. Yeah. Yeah, the cadena. Yeah, it's at 7 p.m. So I think they were connected in the cadena nacional. That's why they are not here. Dennis is checking on the cadena, maybe. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Welcome to your class. It's a big happiness for me to have you here and for sure to have another opportunity to learn and to share right together. Today, we are going to do kind of an overview of the different things that we have been doing. And for sure, we are going to be working on the review of can and could that we started yesterday. And for sure, we are going to work on other uses of can, right? So that's basically what we are going to do today. And on Monday, we are going to do the wrap up of the module. We are going to be working on some presentations. And we are also going to work on the survey, okay? It's very important that we are connected on time on Monday because we are going to do the survey for our group. Did you receive it on your email? ¿Ya recibieron su encuesta en el, en el correo? No? So maybe you are going to receive it on Monday. So please be pendent because you are going to use different information that you are going to receive there, okay? You receive the document for the survey, the link, and you receive some, uh, some uh, answers that you are going to use, like the name of the, of the module, the name of the course, the name of the place where you work, right? You have done it before, right? Así como hicieron la anterior en el módulo 1, it is exactly the same. Okay. Didn't you do it in module one? La hicieron en el módulo uno, cierto? Okay. So, <laughs> Catherine is like, yeah. I don't remember. Desde, <laughs> la, desde el grupo de chat de WhatsApp lo mandaron. Yeah, sí, I, por WhatsApp lo mandaron. Oh, really? Okay. 
So, but um, you you will receive it, okay? You will receive it. Maybe you will receive it on Monday because you still have time. We still have time to finish. Hello, Mr. Luis, welcome. Hello, teacher. I thought you were watching much Marshmallow. That's why you were not here. Andaba viendo Marshmallow. <laughs> not yet, you say, not yet. When the class finishes, it's going to be, <laughs> they are going to run. <laughs> to no. the stadium. I have Erin eating dinner. Uh -huh. I was, <laughs> you say, I was eating I was. dinner. I was. That is the past tense of is. I think in the next module, you are going to check on past tense. So uh, it is important that you start checking on the verbs, people. Start checking on the verbs. Because the next module, I think you are going to study past tense. And that is a good topic, but in these days that we are going to have off, that you are going to have this little period of three or four days between the different uh, modules, read the verbs, practice the verbs, okay? Investigate that. Métanse a investigar verbos regulares en pasado, verbos irregulares en pasado, and start getting to know them. Because what is the problem? When you see the topic, cuando empiezan el tema, Se quieren aprender todos los verbos. And you are like, oh my God. And it's, no, it's a little by little, right? You have time now. Pueden ir investigando desde ahora. Empezar a investigar qué son los verbos en pasado, cómo se usan, cómo se crean los pasados. So at the moment when you have to face the topic, you are going to say, hey, I read that. I remember that. I know that. Okay. Eso ya lo conozco, eso ya lo vi, eso ya lo leí. And you are not going to be frustrated with the top because that's the problem with English. You feel frustrated because you want to do everything at the same time and it is complicated. And then you say, oh, I hate English. It's so, it's so difficult. No, you have to be very disciplined. You have to read every day. You have to investigate every day. Okay. So, that's the idea of the English language, okay? So my recommendation is start investigating the verbs in past because you are going to use them, okay? That's my, my piece of advice, yes? Yo investigué que me comentaron por ahí un amigo que tengo que aprendió inglés en la Academia Europea. Uh -huh. Tienes que aprenderte, me dice, los 12 tiempos de cada verbo. Me... Yes. José Son le digo yo, sí, me dice, 12 tiene cada verbo. Me... Yeah. Present, past, future, pero... present, perfect, present, perfect, continuous. There are many. And it is not that difficult as to memorize them. But when you investigate and read, you get to know them, right? Entre más lean, entre más investiguen, entre más vayan ahondando en el tema, más se van a ir metiendo y entendiéndolo. Porque imagínense, se pone a memorizárselo. ¿Qué va a pasar cuando le toque y llegue alguien y le diga, oh, hi, Jorge, well, how are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. <clears throat> le voy a hablar en, en presente continuo, en participio. No, the idea is that you get to know how to answer. Right? Investigate, read, read a lot, read articles, read the book, read things for you to get vocabulary. And it is good that you get to know them, right? Si investiga los 12 tiempos verbales, cree sus propias oraciones con cada uno. Ah, esto lo ocupo en presente. ¿Cuáles oraciones son? Esto va para pasado. ¿Cuáles verbos ocupo en pasado? ¿Cuántos verbos hay? ¿Qué tipo de verbos hay? ¿Cómo los transformo? So that's why I always say that. Yo aprendí inglés por mec. Oh. And that's how I learned English. Because I used to say, hey, daddy, what is the meaning of that? How do you use it? Uh -huh. Tell me, give me give me another example. And my father was there talking and talking and talking all the time. He was like, ay, hija, toma estos libros, hija, anda, léelos. Sí, sí yo le comenté a él. <laughs> le comenté a él que estaba aprendiendo yo inglés y me dijo, Ya que tenés la oportunidad, me dice, aprovechala. Yo fui a la, unión, a la academia, me dice, y si te contara, me dice, venía decepcionado de la vida, me dice, porque ahí ni una palabra en español 
durante ocho meses. No, it, it, is, it is like that. In module number three, you're not going to speak Spanish in class. That's, that's all, right? Only module one and two, it's a little bit permitted. Module number three, four and on, bye-bye Spanish. You are going to be in deep in English. But that is why you improve because you force yourself to speak in English. In some cases, when you think in, in Spanish and you say like, yeah, uh -huh, and you translate a lot, you get used to that. So the idea is that you learn how to produce the language. That you say, ah, I know how to answer. I understand the teacher. I understand the topics. So those are the things that you need to start doing. Listen music in English. No more bad bunny things. No, no, no. Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> No more. Only song lead with me. Okay. <laughs> Only, I mean, the movies, the things in English, the movies with subtitles. If you have a favorite movie, imagine that you like um, Titanic, right? Just to give you one example. Put, yes, the, put the subtitles in English. Put the movie in English because you understand the movie already, right? Ya la conocen, ya se la pueden. So, but you are going to have the chance to read the vocabulary. It's like, ah, okay, oh, that's what it says. That's the meaning, okay? And you are going to see a lot of differences between yourselves. I know it's difficult, but you work together, people. In some cases, you find each other in the, in, in the, in the factory, I imagine, right? De repente se encuentran ahí en la en empresa, ¿no? And what do you do? Bueno, yo conozco que <laughs> somos de aquí, medio les hablo más que todo. Este, Diego, la vez le hago unas palabritas en inglés. Pa. Yeah, but it's not unas palabritas. It has to be like, hey, una, hi, hi, Diego. Una, 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 una. <laughs> so, ella que ponga en práctica el inglés, que aprende, le, que no le dé miedo a hablarle. So, if you find each other, don't feel afraid of speaking in English to each other. I always say my students, okay? And I always, when I welcome the students in the academy, right? Yo como directora llego y los, les doy la bienvenida. Y les digo, nunca, que nunca les dé vergüenza ser inteligentes. Because if you are learning another language, you are becoming a little bit more intelligent than the other people that are still waiting. Okay? Hay un montón que todavía, ay, quizás el otro año aprendo inglés. No, you are one step ahead. Don't be ashamed of that. And the only person that is going to criticize you is the one that doesn't know English. El único que lo va a criticar es el que no sabe inglés. Los que están aprendiendo se van a acercar. It's like, ah, hey, hey you are practicing English. Blah, 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 and they are going to start talking. And the one that is going to be like, ay, el gringo, ay, la gringa. It's the one that doesn't know English. Is it like, is it like saying, I el gringo? Yes, I know English. Do you know English? <laughs> That's the answer, right? But practice, practice. It is the best way to do it. Only English. Only in English, only in English, because it's difficult. Once you go to the life, it's difficult. It was difficult for me that I have been a teacher for many years. I was in the in the airport there in in Dallas, Texas, and I was lost. And I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I know English, right? But when I asked the person and I said, "Hey, how do I get to this and this place?" ¿Cómo llego a este lugar? Le pregunté. And he was like, "I don't know." And I was like, "Ah, uh, yeah, 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 no entendí. And I was like, is that English? Are you sure? <laughs> I think that's Japanese, I said. But you need to practice. But then, later with the days, it was normal for me to listen to the American English. But it's complicated. So please, my best recommendation, practice as much as possible. Read alone, read for yourself, get a book, find articles, read, read and practice. Be curious because that's the only way to succeed in English.
Hello, Normita. It's nice to see you. Hello, Carla Patricia. Hello, Mr. Ronald. Hello. Dennis, that it's all attarantating me. Why are you moving that cell phone that much? El, el celular de Dennis va como así. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ok, el efecto de la cadena nacional. Leave it like that. Hey, the TV. Well, my dear class, let's work. I have a very good friend here with me that it was the one, the one for Friday, right? So yesterday, because of the rain, we couldn't work that much on many things that we were supposed to work. And we are going to work on what we were supposed to do yesterday and the one that we have for Friday. There you go. Your friend for Friday. Today, there is not like, I cannot listen, teacher, it's raining, blah, blah, blah. No, today it's not raining. And we're going to practice. We have Betty Butter. This was the easiest one that we had for today. So the one that we have for today, what is the meaning of butter? Do you know what's butter? Do you know what's the butter. meaning of butter? No, butter. Mantequilla, mantequilla right? Mantequilla. The butter is el batidor de mantequilla, right? The butter, the one that you use to make the butter. And do you know what's the meaning of bitter? No, bitter. Bit, and it's not like that. Bit is a little piece. Bite is more than. But it's like this. Bite. Let me make it bigger, this. There you go. Bite is morder. Okay? A bit is un poquito. Bit. And bit is ritmo. And bit is remolacha. <laughs> so you have to be careful with it. Bite, bit, bit, bit. Depending, oh, depending on how you are using it. Because if you are talking about cooking and you say bit, you know that it's a remolacha, right? ¿Por qué no pueden morder el ritmo? Or do you? Right? I want some beat in my salad. Ay, ponele ritmo. No, right? I want some beat. It's like beat. It's the remolacha, right? If you tell me, for example, hey, teacher, listen to the beat. Hey, it's cool. It's a new song. Depending on how you are using. Wait for me. Just a little bit. Solo una remolachita. No, right? Beat, it's momento. I know that you are talking about this one, right? And if you tell me, for example, the dog bite me, I know that it's this one, right? Porque el perro no es el perro con ritmo ni el perro remolacha, right? So if the dog, the dog is going to bite you, be careful. And the dog laughs. Okay. Does the dog bite? Yeah, and it judges as well. So it sounds different, but the context is the one that makes it logical, okay? So here, Betty Butter is the name of the lady, right? This one, don't find a meaning on this one. This is the name of the lady, right? If you say, for example, Natalie Flores, it's Betty Butter, the name and the last name. Betty Butter, but is the past tense of by. This is the past tense of by. Okay, by is the normal verb in English, right? By. And this one is by. By the by by. And for sure, but is the past tense of this one. I bought some things, right? Compré unas cuantas cosas. Betty butter, but some butter. But she said, said is the past tense of say. Say is the normal verb. And said is the past tense. She said the butter's bitter. Bitter is like the coffee with no sugar. 
If you make coffee, if you make coffee and you don't put sugar on it or something sweet, it's going to be bitter. And you say, eh. thank you. Like my life. Mm, thank you. Amargo. Really delicious. No, bitter. <laughs> so bitter. Bitter, it's amargo, right? Do you like the coffee with sugar or without sugar? I need. Uh -huh. With sugar or with no sugar? With sugar, pero poquito. With sugar, with sugar. Okay. Me gusta amargo dulce. Amargo dulce. <laughs> Margo de café y bastante café y dulce. Yeah, give me more, give me more uh, sugar for my coffee in that case. Yes, but some people need some coffee for the sugar because they put a lot of sugar and the thing is very sweet. And you're like, <laughs> thank you, exactly on the diabetes. Horrible, <laughs> right? Very, very sweet. So that's the meaning of bitter. Bitter, it's a marble. If I put it, what is what is she referring with it? A qué se refiere este it? If I put it, a eso. No. Uh -huh. But what is what is that? What is she talking about? De qué está hablando? De la marca del café. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if you say. She said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, what would be it in this case? ¿Qué representa it en este caso? Una cosa. Ajá, ah, representa una cosa. ¿Qué cosa según el párrafo? Bitter. Mm, bitter es amargo. Es un adjetivo. Como la masa. Un infinitivo. Uh -huh. You need a name. What is she talking about? Betty butter, but some butter. She bought some butter. What is the meaning of butter? Mantequilla, right? She bought some butter. But she said the butter is bitter. If I put it in my butter, right? In this case, if I put it, que fue lo que compró, que es el objeto, la mantequilla, right? If I put it, para no repetir butter, Podemos reemplazarla con un pronombre here. Because you can say the butter is bitter. If I put the butter in my butter, it's repetition, right? You can replace it with it. In this case, it means butter. The butter is el mezclador, donde lo está haciendo, right? El mezclador de mantequilla. It will make my butter bitter, right? If I put it in my butter, it would make my butter bitter. Okay, le va a amargar el mezclador. But a bit of better butter, that will make my butter better. Okay, so she needs to change the butter. It is not normal that you give logic to the tongue twisters, but I like to explain them to you so you can have a, a better view of this. So let's practice it. Betty Butter is the name of the person, right? Betty Butter, but some butter. Go ahead. Betty Butter, but some butter. Betty Butter, but some butter. But, some butter. but she said the butter's bitter. <clears throat> but, she <laughs> but she said, said, no said, she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, okay, the other one is butter. This one is butter. Okay. It will make my butter bitter. It will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter. But a bit of better butter. But a bit of better butter. But that will make my butter better. That will make my butter better. Okay, turn off your microphone. Apagen su micrófono. Turn off your microphone and practice. Practice, 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 and practice. 
Then I am going to choose five volunteers to tell me the tongue twisters. Thank you for all the cameras. I cannot see Walter, Karencita, Wendy. Dennis, thank you. <laughs> okay, practice, practice, practice. Walter, sit down. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Wendy, Walter, the camera, please. Thank you. Ahorita. It's okay. It's, we know you, don't worry. I know, I know. Can you turn it on? I need to see. And I can give you the solution. Because it happened to me at the beginning of the module. Pero no se le distorsiona y de repente se pone así como loca. Sí, no, es que se ha puesto como en blanco y negro y me veo... Por ahí me dijo Gallego que me veía como Gallego. Como el depredador. Él se burló, como el depredador. No, yo no me burlé, yo solo te dije que se veía todo así. ¿Quién hay si? Ponela, quiero ver. Se ve como blanco y negro. Ve. Bueno, que hoy no se ve. I cannot see anything. I think it's ruined completely. Oh, it's a mess. Okay. Oh, I don't see. I think. Ah, it's ruined. The camera. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Vaya, ahí estoy, ve. Oh, yeah, but that's a that's a problem of an update. Ahí es una actualización. Las últimas están prohibidas. Así fue esta. Es una actualización de Zoom. Ah, la nueva actualización. No, no se ve mal, así está. Tú. No, me da pena. It's okay, Wendy. Voy a llamar más la atención. Ah, okay. So, my five volunteers. My five volunteers are going to be the ones, let me see. Hmm. Okay. Anyone who is touching the head, Isabel and Luis Parrilla. My first two volunteers. Anyone that is not looking at me, Diego, <laughs> three. Anyone that is not in camera, Wendy and Christian. <laughs> Christian <laughs> Okay, so those are my volunteers. I said, the first two volunteers were the ones touching their face. Isabel and Luis Parri. <laughs> Just two anymore. <laughs> The other one, the one that was not looking at me, and Diego was like this. The so, and the other one was the ones that were not in camera, Wendy and Christian. Okay, so those are my volunteers. Isabel, you are the first one. Luis, you are the second one. Diego, you are the third one. Wendy, number four, and Christian, number five. Action. It's okay. Showtime, go ahead. Es que si no me voy a comer las palabras. Oh yeah, yeah. Put the the glasses, okay. That was like, qué lindos ojos. No sirven. <laughs> necesitan, necesitan. Vitrina. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Betty, Betty Butter, bo, ay. Para matizar. Era Betty o era Betty. Betty Butter. Betty Butter, but some butter, but she said. The butter bitter. If I put it in my butter, if it will make my butter my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter that will make my butter better. Excellent job. People send a reaction to Isabel that she said that she was not good for tongue twisters, and look at her now. She is doing it. I said, like, una, hace una semana, I am very bad teacher. You see? If you don't try, you never know. Mr. Luis Parrilla, go ahead. Very water. Pour some but, water. but, 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 but. <laughs> very water, but some water. Would she say the water bitter is? If I put it in my butter, it will make. My butter, butter, but a bit of better butter 
that will make my banner better. Beer. Better. <laughs> better. <laughs> okay, you say but, but. It's not but, porque tú la mencionas bien cerrada, la U, you say but, but it's but she said the butter's bitter. Okay. The butter. Okay, but, butter. Oh, the there you go. Don't mark the U that much. Very good job. Reactions for Luis Parrilla, please. A strange reaction for you, a piece of chicken campero. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Diego, go ahead. No, it was the destiny. <laughs> Very well, but. Don't bother, but she say, she say the border, the border dealer is he put it in my barrel, it will make my barrel bitter, but a bit of better butter that will make my butter better. It will make my butter better. Very good job. Very good job, Diego. Right? Reactions for Diego. I will give you an octopus today. Very good job. Reactions for Diego. Very good job. Let's go with Wendy. 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 Ahorita. Very bad bow. Some butter, but she say the butter bitter is I, I put in my butter if we make my butter bitter but a bit of better butter that will make my butter better okay butter butter en el mismo caso que Luis no digamos butter butter no it's butter 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 okay good reactions there for Wayne hey very good job I will send you a crown nice and Mr. Christian please Mr. Christian, Mr. Christian. Está difícil, teacher. But not impossible. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> very body bow, some better. But she said, the better, the better is bitter. Butter. If I put it. Butter. The body, the body is bitter. If I put it in my better. Butter. <laughs> It will make my better bitter, but I pick of better butter that will make my better bitter. A little bit confusing. I think that's a new tongue twister. Creo que hiciste un nuevo trabalengua. Butter, that will make the butter, butter, bitter, right? Butter, bitter. And this one, it's butter, bitter, right? Butter. This one, it's A, right? It's así suena como A. It's just butter, butter, como con O, butter. Bitter, butter, bitter, better, right? Better, better, butter, okay? There you go. It was a nice text. Thank you very much. Reactions for Mr. Christian, please. Una reacción extraña. Let's see. I will send you a bus. <laughs> there you go. I will send you a bus for you to take a trip. Well, so today I have a, a couple of exercises that we are going to use about the topic that we did yesterday, right? We, we were working on the different conversations yesterday and we were talking about complaints, to complain and to make a complaint, right? The different things. You were telling me about one time that you were fighting and complaining about something. But today we are going to do a specific practice with can and could, okay? In this case, remember that we have two different forms, formals and informals, okay? Is it clear so far, so good? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? No, you don't remember? ¿Se acuerdan de ayer que les expliqué que teníamos can and could en las dos maneras, formales e informales? Yes? Estábamos nadando en lluvia todavía. Regálenos una, okay. un resumen. <risa> un review. Ya ven sí, por porque qué. Bueno, yo, yo no se escuchaba bien. Muy bien. ¿Ya sí. ven por qué no me enamoré? 
Porque ya se cansó. <risa> yeah, sorry. My husband. Ah, qué linda. Pobre Alex, estoy escuchando eso cada rato. No, he knows. He knows that it's not true. Right. So, we have here can and could. What are the differences? What are the differences? We have it here. I was explaining yesterday that this model and this model are also to make requests. Let me silent because I send to feedback. <clears throat> Escucho un feedback por ahí. Okay, let me open the board, right? Como una clase presencial, mejor me voy para la pizarra. Here, we have uh, can and could. It is the same case of want and would, right? We have studied these two cases, can and could. Which one is formal and which one is informal? Here we have, for example, this one is informal and this one is formal. You can say it that this one can also be considered uh, impolite, you say like not polite in certain level or polite in a specific level, right? So what is the meaning of polite? Amable, okay? Not polite is like no tan amable como la otra. So we have the two different forms. Things that are informal for sure are not going to be polite and things that are formal are going to be polite. We have can for this structure and could it's for the formal polite versions, okay? The same thing is for want and would. ¿Qué usaríamos para hablar con nuestros amigos? Una plática así como casual. Usaríamos can or could? Can. Can, right? Mm -hmm. And in this case, ¿qué usaríamos? Want or would? Want. Want, right? We will use want because it's informal. It's not really polite, right? But it's normal for with friends. So we have the two forms that they mean the same. That if you say like can... I don't like the red one, people. I will use another color. Can you help me with the homework? Can you help me with the homework? Okay. ¿Qué te estoy pidiendo? Uh -huh. Okay. But what would be the question? Ayúdame. Me puedes Ayuda. ayudar con mi tarea. Ok. Like, ayúdame con mi tarea. ¿Puedes ayudarme con mi tarea? And then you don't have an option, right? ¿Puedes ayudarme con mi tarea? Vení para acá. It's like, ok. I, I will do it, right? But if I say, could you help me with my homework? It's different. It is the same meaning. But you say, ¿Me podrías ayudar con la tarea? It's even more polite. It's like, when they go and say, Luisito, you know that they need a favor. You know. And it's like, what do you want? <laughs> when, when your mother is like, uh, my, my mother, for example, when you say, like, Nati, mira. And it's just normal, right? But then when you say like, hijita, vení. <laughs> I know that she needs something. It's like, what do you need? <laughs> and there is, a, there is another form that it's a little bit better than this one. Could you please, could you please help me with this? Could you please help me with this? This is a lot more formal. Podrías, por favor, ayudarme con esto? It is like, Please, <laughs> could you please help me with this? <clears throat> like um, when you are working, for example. Termina esto. Could you please finish this? That would be better, right? So, trabajaríamos más bonito si usáramos esta forma in life. 
If we, if we treat each other like in the emails, that would be perfect, right? Si todos nos tratáramos así como en los correos, that would be perfect. I will be waiting for your answer. Have a fantastic day. Blessings. Best regards. Nati. Purate. <laughs> and you have it. So this is the form of can and could. We use it for requests, right? Requests. What are requests? Things that we need someone else to help us with. Okay, algo que le pedimos a otro que hago, algo que le pedimos a otro que nos ayude. So, can you please help me? Can you help me with the homework? Informal. Could you please help me with the homework? Could you help me with the homework? Right? It is the same meaning. The meaning doesn't change, but we use a different word, right? And this one, it's also correct, right? It's not like, oh, el estigma, vea. No, like, can you? No. It's correct. And in some cases, you can use it informal situations, but it is better to say could. So for this one, want and would is the same, but this one is for to express something that you uh, desire, something that you want to do, right? You say like, I want to travel on Sunday. I want to travel on Sunday. And I am imposing this. Voy a viajar y quiero. Llévenme. I want to travel on Sunday. Right? But if you say like, nah, tipa, come on, we cannot do it right now. So you say, I would like to travel on Sunday. Yo sí quisiera, they say. I don't know if it happens to you, right? I would like to travel on Sunday. Right? Por ahí en la quincena cuando dice su mamá. Qué rico fuera comer pizza, ¿verdad? Right. <laughs> and then you are like, mm -hmm. en la casa hay frijoles. <laughs> like when we were little kids. I would like to travel on Sunday. It is the same form, right? I want to, I would like to. This is more polite, right? This is more formal. I would like to. Y esto va incluido hasta el to. Okay, I would like to. Es la estructura. And then here you have a normal verb. I would like to travel on Sunday. And in this one, when you say, I want to, and then you have a normal verb. I want to travel on Sunday, right? I want to travel on Sunday. So these are the two forms. Polite, not polite. Correct, incorrect, it's not like that. Just polite or impolite, formal or informal. That's what I like to call them, right? Formal or informal, depende de donde estemos parado. If you are on the bus stop, for example, with your friends, you say like, can you lend me a quarter? Yes. Could you be so kind to lend me a quarter? This is another one. Could you be so kind to here you have the next right pero este es como diría mi padre florear el idioma because you are just putting more words to sound better could you be so kind to lend me one dollar serías tan amable de prestarme un dólar <laughs> what do you say in english hey in english in spanish they're like hey give me one dollar please do you have a dollar? Give me one. <laughs> That's how you ask for. With your friends, right? With your friends. So that's the way you do it. Could you be so kind? Imagínese lo que andan pidiendo en la calle. Como llegan y le dicen, hey, dame los coros. Se le, no, vos dame una mil, le digo yo. <laughs> they are like, okay, fallamos. But imagine if they go, hi, could you be so kind to help me with any money that you have, you will be like, ah, me. let's go. You will be kindly helping people. So that is the difference. Now, do you spot the difference, Mr. Walter? Mr. Walter, agarramos ahora la diferencia yes. entre can and could? Sí, más o menos. Creo ah, que sí. Más o menos. Can you give me one example? Give me no. one example with can.
give me one example with Ken. Sí. Give me one example with Ken. Imagínese que quiere agarrar agua. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo me la pide? Hmm. I, I call you. Uh -huh. Could you? ¿Cómo se dice darme? Darme, no. Could you? Help him. Vamos a ver, ayúdenle. How do you say give darle me. a alguien? Give me. Give me water. Could you give me water? Please. Please. But there you go. Could you give me water, please? There you go. Y ahora café. ¿Cómo me piden café? Can you give me coffee? Could you give me coffee? Can you give me coffee? Okay. You need my cell phone to make a, a phone call. Is then hacer una llamada? Can you borrow? No. Can you borrow? Uh huh. Borrow your cell phone. Uh huh. Ahora más amable. Cool. Cool butter. Cool butter. Mm hmm. Could you? Cool. Cool. You borrow for me your cell phone. Could you borrow me your cell phone? Yeah. Yes. Could you borrow me your cell phone? De necesitan que les preste la casa. Could you borrow your house? Could you borrow me your house? <laughs> For house. sure. Take it. So you say, could I use? Could I use your house? Podría usar su casa? Podría usar tu casa? You need to go to the toilet. Necesitan ir al baño. Están en la puerta de mi casa, ahí en el, la entrada. Could I? Me hago ahí. <laughs> People, come on. Por señas de día. Could I borrow? No, could, could, okay, if you tell me, could I borrow your toilet? Voy, lo agarro y se lo traigo. ¿Qué, qué hacemos con el baño? ¿Lo yeah. prestamos o lo... Exactly like use? that. Could you use? ¿Quién lo necesita? Can you, can, could you, could you, <laughs> could I, use, yes. uh -huh. there could you go, Ronald, use, Ronald, uh, Ronald, please, listen. <laughs> could I use, could you, could I use what? Yes. Uh, the bathroom. The Your bathroom. bathroom. The bathroom, yeah, because this is private, okay? Could I use the bathroom? Yes. The one that is in your house is bathroom. The one that is in Metro Centro is restroom because it's public, okay? Could I use the restroom, right? Yes, you can go. If you go to the academy, for example, could I use the restroom? Yes, because it's public, right? You need to, uh, let me see. You need to use my computer. Ken, because we are friends. Can you? Can I use? The computer. Can I use what computer? Your computer. Uh, your computer, very good. Can I use your computer? There you go. You see, I, I am challenging you to think and that's that's how you do it. Okay, tell me, you want to eat something. Quieren comer algo? How do you tell me? Mm. With wood. I would like. I would like to eat pupusa. <laughs> I would like to eat pupusas. You are specific, right? Very good. I would like to eat pupusas. Okay. Pero ya tiene los cinco dólares en la mano. Ya lo pensó. Tiene un plan. Vamos, teacher Nati. I. I would like to. No, it's you were friends. You have the money and you're going to invite me. So you say, I. I want, I want, to, want to eat. I want to eat pupusas, right? I want to eat pupusas because you had the plan already with cola champagne, right? I want to eat pupusas. So that's crema with crema soda. That's a very delicious thing. <laughs> so let's go back here. 
let's go back to the exercises. I have more exercises for you. This one, for example, let me see here. Okay. Um, what is something that you will ask your boss? ¿Qué le pedirían a su jefe? Could you, I will give you the example here. Could you, what? Podrías, could you? Report uh -huh. the machine. Please. Could you report the machine, please? Very good. Could you report the machine, please? Because Ronald is crying because he cannot work. Could you report the machine, please? What is another thing that you will say to your boss? Could, Could you? you... Mm -hmm. Could you yeah. be so kind? <laughs> Could you be? Could you be kinder? Could you be kinder? Yeah, in some cases we are bad boss, okay? A veces no somos buenos líderes. So, could you be kinder? That's good. Another, what is another thing that you will tell to your boss? Could you? Help me, please. Could you help me, please? Ayuda, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> could you help me, please? What is another one? Con una mejora, con una mejora de trabajo. ¿Qué mejora le pedirían? Could you? Hey. I know you know everybody knows. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Could you ask for more work? Okay. Could you ask for more work? Podrías pedir más trabajo? Yeah. Okay. I will go for this one. ¿Qué le diría yo a mi jefe? Could you please give me a raise? That's what I would give him. What is the what is the, the meaning of raise? It's about money. A raise is when your salary goes up. A raise. Okay. Mm. Si le pido un aumento, me va a dar uno de trabajo. <laughs> For sure, Nati is going to see another group. Will you give me a raise? Right? There you have one example. But the ones that I have here. Let me just... <laughs> Could you give me a sauce? <laughs> and your boss. Ahorita, Jorgito, con hielo. <laughs> and he's going to bring it to you. Please. Please, with, with eyes, you say. So, the example that I was going to make with everybody is this one. It says, like, I want to have some coffee. Let's do the example with, uh, it's a polite request. Can or could? Es el que vamos a ocupar. Polite request. Can or could? I want to have some coffee. How will you make it? I will make the first one for you so you can have an idea on how this works. And you are going to make the next ones. Could I have some coffee? Could I have some coffee? This is a polite request. You want some coffee? You ask for it. Could I have some coffee? Si esto fuera informal, sería. Can I have some coffee? Can I have some coffee? Okay. Could I have some coffee? Because it's polite. Okay, aquí porque es una polite request. Could I have some coffee? Esto es lo que usted quiere. Esto es lo que usted quiere pedir. I want some coffee. Could I have some coffee? Okay. What about the next one? It's a polite request. You want to sit here. Usted se quiere sentar ahí. It's a polite request. How would you say it? ¿Cómo lo pide? Could I? Could I? 
What is the verb? To sit. Could I? What is the verb? Sit. sit. Could I sit? Don't yeah. feel. Here. Yeah. Could I sit here? Very good. After could I, no tenemos to. To va después de would like to. Ahí sí. I would like to have, I would like to eat, whatever, right? Um, could I sit here? How would you make it informal? ¿Cómo lo haríamos informal? Can I? Can I? Uh -huh. Can I sit here? Can I sit here? There you go. You have it, formal and informal. Si lo está pidiendo, le encantaría hacerlo. ¿Cómo lo dijera? I would like to sit here. Ok, anda tan cansado que ya le pide a la del bus. Ay, señor, no me importa. I would like to sit here. <laughs> Move. <laughs> I want to sit, right? Because you are tired and you want to do it. Right? I would like to sit here. And people will say like, yeah, siéntese. La señora lleva tres bolsas del súper sentadas ahí bien cansada. I would like to sit here. <laughs> okay. De los buses no va a estar hablando. I would like to sit here. De teacher Nati con su mochila no van a estar hablando. <laughs> I, I sit my backpack on the bus. Polite request. I want to stay with you. Polite. Polite. I want to stay with you. Polite. Could I? Right. Stay with where? You. With you. Could I stay with you? Very good. Informal? Can I? Can I? Stay with you. Okay. Algo que quiero, que deseo, que pienso hacer? I would sure. like to. I would like to, yeah. Like I have a question. Yeah. El, el can es familia o primo, hermano del guana. Yeah, I mean, well, I will explain that one as well, right? I would like to stay with you. Okay, those are my other friends. Let me just make a stop. Esos son los momentos que me encantan de la clase, the questions. In this case, when you have this ones, for example, right? When you have gonna, when you have wanna, right? These two forms are just for speaking. And when you want to speak a little bit faster, okay, lo hacemos como para hablar un poco más rápido. Más no es como algo que yo diría, usted tiene que decir gonna cuando dice going to. Okay, I wanna, I wanna go. Right? It's the same. These ones, you'd never use them in written. No se usan en las formas escritas. ¿Cuándo los va a ver? En canciones, poesía, eh, escritura informal. You are going to check that one. Okay? But if you say like, I, I want to go. I want to go to the restroom. The sentence is correct. The speaking is correct. But it's informal. Imagine if we are together in Metro Centro and you are with me. It's like, I'm I want to go to the restroom. Okay, go, go, go. Because you are my friend, right? But imagine if you are in a meeting. I want to tell you some points about the factory. <laughs> Fuera. Seguridad. <laughs> tell you a couple of things right now. <laughs> Thank you. Seguridad. <laughs> they are going to take you out. It is, it is okay. And that's very, but that's very normal in the United States, in Europe, in many countries. It's very common. But my, my uh, view here is to teach you good English, right? To teach people who speak clear and better. Later with the life, you can change the way you speak, right? But these two, for example, it's the same meaning. One, two, and wanna, it's the same thing. Going to and gonna is the same thing. Right? But you use them only in speaking and in informal cases. Okay? Yes, Isabel? Did I answer your question? Te respondí tu pregunta? Yes, thank you. Perfect. Okay, let's continue here. 
it's an informal request. I want you to pick up the children. I want you to pick up the children. It's an informal request. Ken. Te estoy diciendo que tú lo hagas. Can you? Can you? I want you to pick up the children. Can you? What is the verb? Pick up. Pick up. Okay. Can you pick up who? A quien van a traer? The children. The children, right? Can you pick up the children? And what is the meaning of this? When you say like, can you pick up the children? Lo puede hacer un pick up? No, right? Pick up is that they are in a place. For example, uh, I, have, I don't know where Mika is. Oh, se la robaron. That happens here. Imagine that this is the kid, right? The kid is waiting on the bus stop and you are here like, chuk, 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 chuk. Vámonos, hijo. Chuk, chuk, chuk. and you pick up the kids, right? So to pick up, it's recoger, pasar a traer a alguien, right? It's not that it is on the floor, right? No que el niño está tirado en el suelo. Okay. It is not to pick up. Can you pick it up? Yes. Un objeto que está en el suelo, podemos decir, hey, pick it up. Recogelo, right? Pick it up. Yes. But when you say, can you pick up the children? So, puedes ir a recogerlos a la escuela. This is informal. What will be a very formal request? Ya nos divorciamos y medio nos hablamos. What would be the formal form? Teacher, pero en esa oración no falta el I. No. Listen to the normal sentence. La oración dice, yo quiero que tú recojas a los niños. Cuando yo te pregunto, can you pick up the kids? Ah, sí, puedes ir a recoger los niños. Ajá. Puedes ir tú a recoger los niños. Okay. Entonces, el actor principal de aquí eres tú. Ok. So, in a formal request would be, could you pick up the kids, please? Okay. <laughs> Han vuelto por mi alma. <laughs> the kids. Mencionó a los niños y volvieron. Yeah. No Oh my goodness. Hey, Luis. ¿Usted los invocó? Yes. Luis, ¿verdad que usted da clases de inglés a los niños los viernes? No. <laughs> Luis Academy. En la calle andan jugando. Ok, so, doy clases los jueves, no cobro mucho. Number five. Polite request. Ok. This is, oh, we did it already, right? Aquí la tenía informal, aquí la tenemos formal. Could you pick up the kids, please? We did it already, right? Ya la hicimos inconscientemente. I want you to pick up the kids in formal uh, request. Could you pick up the kids, please? Okay. Now, these ones are for you. Take your notebook and do these ones, okay? These ones are individual, okay? Take your notebook and complete them, formal and informal, okay? I need you to make them formal and informal for you to practice both. I think we have had very good practice, so there is not going to be a problem, right? We have had enough practice. Hemos practicado bastante, so I think you can do it. Formal and informal with can and could, and would you like if you want, it's okay. And here you have the first phrase says, I want you to come over later. I want you to give me a hand. I want you to pass me the salt. And I want you to come over later. I copy this one already. Ah, this is important. I want to use your pen. Okay. I will change this one. So you can do this one informally and informally.
como esta ya la van a hacer formal e informal en la de arriba, la puedo volver. There you go. Okay, remember to make them formal or informal, right? Hagan de las dos maneras, formal e informal, aunque diga, diga polite or impolite, it's okay. Así, you can practice more. Formal and informal. Hey, where is Mr. Komayawa? I know an idea. Yeah. He's checking on marshmallows. I will send him a message. Where are you? <laughs> In polite. I know you are going to tell me, teacher, no he terminado uno y usted me mandó otro. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent.
Okay, I send you the two practices on the group, and uh, this is the, this is the one that it's more important right now. This is the first one that I will check. Then you are going to check the other two on the group. Okay. Okay, I am going to call the attendance. Meanwhile, le voy a pasar lista mientras terminan. Cristian Eduardo Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Denis Gerardo Vázquez. Present. Diego José Alvarado. Present. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez. Present. Edwin Mauricio Comayagua. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Car Karen Lisette Blanco. Present. Carla Patricia Morales. Present. Catherine Rosibel Mejía de Alvarenga. Catherine. Y la Catherinecita. La perdimos. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Present. Norma Yamilet. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Víctor Manuel Cruz. Present. Walter Enrique Flores Lozano. Present. Yanira Isabel Fuentes Manzano. Present. Thank you very much. So we are missing only Mr. Edwin Mauricio Comayagua. En Karencita. Caterincita, no, Karencita, ahí está. Caterin. Se me perdió como Lucita Navideña. Ok, so, did you finish with the sentences? No. Yes, teacher, no, teacher. Yes, teacher, no, I think. Que esté bueno, a ver. <laughs> Okay, we are going to check, okay? We are going to check. We are going to have only two groups. Okay, for you to check. Let's go and analyze with our friends and then you are going to come with me. So ya tienen chance de, de verlo entre ustedes antes de traerlo conmigo. Go ahead. Victor, the invitation. There you go. Okay, so we are going to check on these ones. They are going to be working on the different sentences. They are comparing right now their answers.
Okay. The main idea of the group is that you compare your answers. So you can tell me, uh, I wrote this one in number one, number two is like this, and you can compare. Okay. Compare your answers. What do you have for number six? Christian, what is your answer for number six? I can use use your I can you use your pens. Number six. No, no that no. was that was number six. I mean, wait, check. Could you remember that it's a request? Tenemos que usar can you or could you? Number six could. was the first one. Ah, okay. Could you could call you. over late? Could you come over later? Over later. Okay, so compare the other ones. Sigan comparando las demás. Go ahead. Continue with the other ones. Alex, the informal, lleva tú, y the formal, no. Teacher? Yes. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Formal, um, ¿verdad que no lleva el tú? No, e no. Formal, yes. For, formal and informal, no. Because you cannot say, can you too? No. Could you too? No. Do you use to with want and would? Could, mm. can and could? No, llevan to. Can you no, too? Use it. Oh. Okay. And the first one is, I want you to come over later. Mm. Esa era la primera, right? I want you to come over later. How would you use the first one? Can you come can over you later? come over later exactly porque no podemos decir can you to come over no to lo usamos por want to and would like to ahí sí okay want okay. to and would like to llevan to okay, when you transform it to can and could no me había confundido entonces no con, you con that's that's good it could be you need to you need to make it clear right for you not to get confused what about number seven how did you transform number number seven can you give me a hug can you give him can you give it me or can you give me can you get me a uh, can give me can you give me a hug can you give me a hand, right? Giving? No. Can you give uh -huh. me? Can you give me give a hand? Me. Good. Very good. Can you give or me a hand? Give, give me a hand. Or could you give me a hand? Very good job. Can you or could you? What about number eight? Can you? Y el, me, y el formal, profe, ¿cómo sería entonces? Can you give me a, a hand huh? también? Could you give me a hand? Exactly like that. Could you? Could you uh, give me a hand? There you go. Hey, Sylvia, can you pass me the salt? So, there you go. Can you pass me the salt? There you go. I think there is no problem. Okay. So continue checking on the next one. Sigan revisando las otras, las otras, y I will come back in a moment. I will bring students back from the groups right now. Okay, but the first thing I am going to do before this I am going to make a little structure. Yeah. So I will say. Okay, let's bring students back from the groups.
Hello, welcome back. So, Thank you. let's review your answers. All of you are going to give me one in the two forms, okay? All of you are going to give me one sentence in the two forms, okay? One sentence in the two forms. So please choose one. Escojan una. One sentence in the two forms. Cool. Okay, you are going to, to choose one sentence in the two forms. For example, you can say, teacher, I want number six, okay? I want number six, and you are going to tell me number six, okay? So, or you say, teacher, I want number eight. You are going to give me the two forms, formal and informal, okay? So, I need the first one. I need the first volunteer. Hoy no los escojo yo. Vamos ustedes solito. Okay, Isabel, go ahead. Which one? The number six. Okay, number six. And uh, I want you to come over later. Mm -hmm. Call you come over later. Over later. Okay, can you? Could you? Very good job. Excellent. Mr. Jorge. Number seven. Uh, can give me a hand. Could give me a hand. Okay, given. ¿Por qué me cambió el verbo? El verbo no cambia. Could you? Give me. Give me. Give me. Very good. Give me a hand. And can you give me a hand? Nice. Okay, fix the verb, please. Carlita. Uh, sería, no, I want you to pass me the salt. Uh -huh. can, can you pass me the salt? Call you pass me the salt. Excellent. Very good job. Let's continue with the order I'm going to go. I'm going to follow the cameras. Dennis. Uh -huh. yes. Which one? What is the number? Any. You choose one. La que quieras. Um, ya la dieron toda. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can repeat. Okay. Um, the eight. Uh, I want you to pass me the salt. Yes. Can or could you pass me the salt? Very good job. Christian Rodriguez, give me one. Um, the number 10. Mm -hmm. I want to use your pen. Um, I can you use your pen? The question. It's in a question form. Can you? Can I? In that case, can I? Can I you use your pen? Uh -huh. Can I use your pen? And could I? And could I you use your pen? Could I use? Could I use your pen? Ronald Ulises. Number nine. I want you to help me with my job. Can Can you help me with my job? Mm -hmm. Could you help me with my job? Very good job. Let's continue with Mr. Luis Parrilla. Then Norma. Then Edwin. Then Walter. And then Diego. Go ahead. Así va Lorna. No, no importa. It's okay. You can repeat. The idea is that I need I need you to uh, express the use of the structure. Go ahead. Okay. Number six. I want you to come over layer. Could you could you come over layer? Very good. Come over layer. Excellent. Next. Eight. Okay, uh, now Normita and then Edwin. Okay. Okay. The thing, uh, I want to use your pen. Can I use your pen? Cool. I use your pen. Excellent. Very good job, Mr. Edwin. Number eight, I want you to pass me the salt. Could you pass me the salt? Very good job. Can what? you come over late? And... Ah, only, only one, only you... one. <laughs> so only one. Only okay. one, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Walter. Number seven. 
I want you to give me a hand. Mm -hmm. I call you, give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Could you give me a hand, right? Could you give me a hand? And with can? Can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? Very good job. Diego. Hey. I want you to pass me the salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you to pass me the salt? Okay, can you pass me the salt? I know vamos to. Can you pass me the salt? Can you pass me the salt? Very good. Can you pass me the salt? Excellent job. Victor Manuel. Sí. Number C. I, I want I, I want you to come over later. Seria can you come over later? And could you come over later? Excellent job. Karen Blanco. Number nine. Could, could you could you help me with my job? And can you help me with my job? Very good job. Wendy Beatriz and then Catherine. And number two, can you give me a hand? Could you give me a hand? Very good job. And Catherine. I wa I was to you use your pen. I want to use your pen, uh huh? Can you use, use your pen? Can I? You, nice. Can I use your pen? <laughs> Can I use? Uh huh. Can I use? Can I use pen? Algo. Can I? I no. Can <laughs> I use? Can I use pen? Your pen. Can I use your pen? Puedo Can usar I use pen. Your pen. Can I use your pen? Puedo usar tu lapicero. Can I use your pen? Could I use your pen? Very good job. My dear students, I have here a little structure just for us to keep it very clear, okay? Para que nos quede sumamente claro. And in this case, you say, could you, could I, okay? We can have the two forms. These are the parts that we need to fill up for you not to use anything different. So if you, if you want something, so you say can, then you can have a verb, can you, do you, you have the subject? Can you uh, can you lend me? Can you lend me the computer? And there you have, okay? There you have the structure. In this one, you can say, could could I could I use could I use your pen? Okay. Could I use your pen? And here you have the question mark. In this one, you can say, could, and here you have, could you pass, that this is the verb, could you pass me the salt? And there you have, the examples, okay? Can you invent an original sentence using the structure? Inventen una, or una oración original. Pídanme algo. Teacher, could you? Could you prepare the genius? <laughs> For sure, I will be more than glad. Could you prepare the dinner? Yes. Another one. Mm -hmm. Could you repeat topic? <laughs> Could you repeat the topic? 
Could you repeat the topic? That's why we are practicing, okay? Eso estamos aquí tratando de. Could you repeat the topic? But that's a good request. Very good. Another one? Could you have vacation? <laughs> For sure. Next week. La otra semana todavía unos días. Could you give me vacation? Uh -huh. Another one. Another request. Vamos, practice, practice. Could you um, the pass the, the lemon, please? Could you pass me the lemon? Okay, for sure. Uh -huh. Could you lend me notebook? Could you lend me the notebook? For sure. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but, but I, I can lend it to you. Uh -huh. Another one. Could you help me with homework? Could you help me with my homework? Yes, for sure. I can help you. Could you let me sleep? Could you lend me a sleep? I will let you sleep in exactly 25 minutes. En 25 minutos te dejo ir a dormir. Okay. But that is, that is very tricky. Okay, I will take your example. Voy a tomar el ejemplo de Diego. Because in this one, for example, if you say, could you let, uh, let me sleep? And I'm going to leave it like this. Could, could you, and I will make it bigger here. Could you let me sleep? Okay. In this case, it is not that I will give you permission, but if you say, could you allow me? In this case, yes, I am giving you permission. Could you allow me to sleep? Could you allow me to sleep? Me permitiría dormir en clase? Could you allow me to sleep? And I would say no, because you are in class. But if you say, could you let me sleep? It's like, me podría dejar dormir? It's because you are sleeping and I am like bothering you, okay? Could you let me sleep? It's like, me deja dormir. Could you let me sleep? That's different. But if I say, could you allow me to sleep? Me permitiría dormir in class? And I will say, ah, ah, ah. no. So that's, that's one different sentence. Good example, Diego. Another one. I am missing Can you let uh -huh. me the cell phone. Oh, for, for sure. A photo. Okay. I can give it to you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. The camera has been discovered. The one who doesn't have anything. Permit me. Okay. Borra, borra, borra. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, my cell phone is pretty boring. Stickers, you are going to find a lot of stickers. That is something for sure that you're going to find there. Mr. Edwin Gallegos. Hello, teacher. Give me one example. Uh, could you show me something on, on the table? Something on my table. <laughs> Let me see. Ah, I have something curious here. Por aquí me dejaron esto. It's a, what it's is a, this? It's some super churro. <laughs> Gustito, okay. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, Alexander like was he, eating huh? and he gave, no, but he gave me the bag. <laughs> me dejó la bolsa. But <laughs> it doesn't have anything. <laughs> and he told me, mom, here you have. And I was like, oh, it's so cute. And it had only one Gustito. And I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you want one? <laughs> For sure. So that is the specific form people. It is not, when, when you think about it, when you consider it, it is not really complicated. The complication is when you disorganize the things uh, on writing, right? You know the structure, right? Ustedes saben la estructura, cómo va, cómo se escribe y todo. The problem is when you create and you invent new structures, right? Because I say so, you say. Porque yo así, así me gusta, teacher. <laughs> así me gusta hacerla. 
So and it is not like that. So that was your final page in this one. In the morning, tomorrow, I am going to give you the details of your presentation, right? It is going to be something very, very simple, right? The presentation is going to be something very simple. And it is about the things that you learn, the things that you want to improve, and the things that you want to learn in the next module, okay? So the presentation is divided in three parts. Uh, what did you learn? What do you want to improve? And what uh, do you want to learn in the previous module? Okay, que aprendí, que tengo que mejorar y que quiero aprender. Those are the three things that you are going to talk about in your presentation, okay? You are going to make a short presentation about these three things. So that is going to be for a Monday, okay? I have here a couple of questions, okay? We're going to work in a couple of questions and then we are going to finish the day with a reading. We have five minutes for this one. And let me see which ones are more. And I think this ones. We're going to keep this ones. Let me close this one. Tell me, I have a question and I need you to analyze it. We are going to select the question, analyze and discuss. Okay, select the question, analyze and discuss. The first question is, what do students have to do if they want to improve their English? What do students have to do if they want to improve their English? What is your opinion? <clears throat> Practice. Practice, what else? Investing. Uh -huh. Give me complete sentences. You say they have to practice. Tick, 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 right? They have to practice. They have to. What else? What do students have to do if they want to improve their English? Mm -hmm. Pronunciation. Give me the complete sentence. They had to pronunciation. They have to what? ¿Qué hacer con la pronunciación? They have to, ¿qué ahí tenemos? They have to practice. They have to practice listening. They have to practice listening. They have to practice pronunciation. What else? ¿Cómo they, se dice escribir, teacher? They have to, how do you say escribir? They have to. Right. Write. They have to write sentences. They have to read. Read, right? They have to read. They have to read a lot. What else? It can be with negative as well. They do not have to what? They don't have to. How do you say distraction? Distract. They don't have to distract. They don't have to speak. What? Spanish. They don't have to speak Spanish. They don't have to feel afraid. They don't have to feel ashamed. Right? I know. They have to practice. Okay. Let's see. The next question. Which type of workers work the hardest? Which type of workers work the hardest? <sighs> Which type of workers work the hardest? ¿Qué tipo de trabajadores trabajan más duro que los demás? Which ones? Any idea? Which type of workers work the hardest? The people at the call center. Those who 
Google. Which ones? I do you say lo de la limpieza. Ah, janitors. Janitors work the hardest. Janitors work the hardest. I think doctors work the hardest. Which ones? Police officers. Police officers work the hardest. Factory workers work the hardest. Yes. Very hard. Construction. Construction workers, right? The ones here in San Salvador. <laughs> Construction workers work the hardest, right? Yeah, because here, imagine they built todos los estadios, la universidad, todo. They built it up in a less than a month, right? Mason. They work the hard. The which one? Mason albañiles. Oh, the masons, right? The masons work the hardest. Let's see the next question. Is there anywhere you have to go after class? Is there anywhere you have to go after class? <laughs> Where are you going to go? I have to go to visit my mother-in-law. I have to go to visit my mother-in-law after the class. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. Oh, callaron el micrófono. <laughs> what are you going to do after class? Is there anywhere? Well, your bedroom, it's a place. The kitchen is a place. The TV place, it's a place. So there is nothing like you visit your boyfriend or girlfriend. Store. To the play store, okay. My bed. To the bedroom, okay, you have to go to the bedroom. That is a good place to go after the class. And let's see <laughs> the last one. What are some things that you have to do, but you don't want to do? What are some things you have to do, but you don't want to do? ¿Qué tenés que hacer pero no quieres hacer? <laughs> yes. Get up. Temprano, puede. Yeah, por dos. Yeah, <laughs> to get up. It's difficult. You don't want to do it, but you have to do it. I don't. I don't. Diet. <laughs> the diet, it's the most difficult one that you say, I need to make a diet. Mmm, pastelitos, mmm, yuca, mmm, sodita, <laughs> the end of the afternoon. Mmm, un chori, you say. So, there you go. And in these last 15 minutes that I have, we are going to work in the reading. I wanted to finish the day with a reading. Let me find my feedback. Déjeme encontrar el feedback. Aquí está. And we're going to work on a reading today. And it says, what is the most popular sports in the world, right? The most popular sports in the world. And here we have this paragraph is divided. It's a little bit longer than usual, but we're going to try to read it. Okay. Paragraph number one. Here we have paragraph number one. We are going to go through paragraphs. Paragraph number one, it's from here up to here. Okay, I need you to analyze it and give me questions if you have questions about vocabulary. Okay, this part. Read it and tell me if you have questions about vocabulary.
or pronunciation. Pronunciation. 3.5 billion. It's billion. Billion. <laughs> billion is más allá. Billion. Five billion. Miles. Five miles. Europe. 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 Okay, questions, pronunciation, vocabulary. Um, Answer may or may? Mm, may Answer. surprise you. Yeah, may surprise you. May surprise you. Okay. No more. The, the names of the countries. Do mm. you know how to pronounce it? Billion. No sé qué billion. Billion. Uh, ¿Cómo? Billion. 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 So you say million, billion, trillion. Cuatro. I think there is no like four, four trillion, something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. We almost never use this one. So you say, let me, that, that's a very cool question because it makes me feel curious. Porque no hay cuatrillonario. Let's see. Okay, it's a fact, uh, fun fact, okay. Fun fact, fun facts, datos curiosos. Ah, quadri quadrillion, you see? Quadrillion. Quadrillion. Yes. And quintillion. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know it. I knew now. Okay. Any other? How do you pronounce Asia? How do you pronounce that one in English? Asia. 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 And then the other ones that you have? South America. South America. Africa. North America. North America. North America. Africa. South America, Asia, Europe. Yeah. Europe. Billion. Billion. Popular. Um, Worlds. World. Worlds. Surprise. Surprise. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. This is dato curioso. Fun fact. In a professional football game, Players run about five miles or eight kilometers Kilometer. in the game. So eight. if you, if you say that you haven't run a marathon in a professional football game, you run almost eight kilometers. So, Teacher, yes. Una pregunta: Cuando yeah. hay abreviación así como kilómetros, también se puede decir km o te tiene que no, decir no, la no. palabra completa. No, in this case, it's kilometers. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like in Spanish, right? But in this case, we know if we are reading, right? Si lo estamos leyendo solo para nosotros sabemos que es kilometers, right? And you just say it. But if you are reading it out loud, you say kilometers. Yeah. And in some cases, some people say 5K, just like that. 5K, 8K. Just like that. Yeah. Y si fuera en kilómetros, metros. A meters. Meters. Oh. Meters, yes. And it's just like that. Meters. Let me move it around for you to read this. Meters. 
So, I need a volunteer. Who can read it for me? Quien me lo lee? I know you can do it. Go ahead. Isabel, go ahead. The microphone, sweetie. I cannot listen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What are the five most popular sports in the world? Some of the answer may su surprise, surprise you. Surprise you, huh? Football, soccer in the USA is the world's most popular sport. Today, about three um, point. Yeah, point, three point five. Three point five billions. People watch or play football. Football is popular in popular 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 in Europe. Europe? Europe. 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 Asia. South South America. South America. Good. Af Africa. Africa. North America. Al almost everywhere. Fun fact. In a professional football game, players run about five miles a kilometer. Okay, kilometers. Kilometers. Very good job. Isabel, let me congratulate you because now you read a lot better. Ya lees mucho mejor. And that's very nice. Definitely. You can read a lot better, right? Because you don't mm -hmm. doubt. I, I like the confidence that you that you have now when you read. So you don't feel like, Ay, me voy a equivocar. No, Ay, que, no, sé. no, you are doing it a lot better. And that's really nice, right? Very good job. In all the paragraph, you only had one mistake about miles and kilometers because it's the ones that we are practicing. But very good job, Isabel. Very nice. I need another okay. volunteer. A clap for Isabel, people. She did a good job. Se merece el aplauso. Son gratis. Vamos, vamos, vamos. There you go. Del aplauso. Ya me sonrojo. No, but it's good. It's good. And if you are doing good, I can recognize it. Good. Another volunteer. I need one more volunteer. For paragraph number one. Five, four, three, two. Well, thank you, Christy. <laughs> And then Dennis. Good. Go, Christy. Okay. The most popular sport in the world. What are the five most popular sport in the world? Some of the answer may surprise you. Football, soccer in the USA. In the world's most popular sport today, about 3.5 billion people watch or play football. Football is, pop is popular in the world. Europe, Asia, 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 Asia uh -huh. South America, Africa, North America, almost everywhere. Fun, fun fact. Fun fact. In a profession, in a in a professional football game, players run about five million eight. Kilometers. Okay, runners, uh, sorry, players run. Players run about five miles, eight kilometers, right? Eight kilometers. Good job, Christian. Good job on the reading, right? What is necessary here? A little bit more fluency. No falta un poquito de fluency, but we are doing it better, right? Cuando no sé cómo se pronuncia, me quedo. And it's like, no, right? Continue, pronounce it the way you can. But it is it is good that you do it. Okay. Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, North America. Claps for Christian, please. Very good job. Nice job, Christian. Nice job. And Mr. Dennis Gerardo, go ahead. <laughs> the most popular sport in the world. Why most popular sport in the world? Some of the answers may surprise you. Football, soccer in the USA is the world's most popular sport today, about 3.5 billion. 
people watch or play football. Football is a popular in Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, North America, almost everywhere. Fun fuck. A professional football game. Players run about five miles, eight kilometers. Miles, miles. Five miles. Okay. Imagine that you are someone from the television. Imagínense que usted es un presentador de tele. How would you tell me the paragraph? The most popular sports in the world. What are the five most popular sports in the world? Some of the answers may surprise you. Football, soccer in the US is the world's most popular sport. Today, about 3.5 billion people watch or play football. Football is popular in Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, North America, almost everywhere. Fun fact, in a professional football game, players run about five miles, almost eight kilometers. Thank you for watching us continue in Nati TV. How would you tell me this? As a television character. Trabaja en Código 21. How would you tell me that in Código 21? <laughs> the, most, the most popular sports in the world. What are the five most popular sports in the world? Some of the answers may surprise you. We have the pictures. <laughs> okay. How would you tell me this as a TV character? That is going to be your homework for the weekend. Okay. You are going to present this as a television character. This little paragraph. La idea era todo el párrafo. But this, only this little paragraph. The first one. I am going to send it to you right now. I need you to practice this one. And I need you please to tell me about uh, the paragraph as a television character. Usted me lo va a decir. Como un presentador de tele. It can be a Código 21, Noticiero Megavisión, Univisión, I don't know, Good Mariela del Barrio. The most popular sports in the world. A mystery TV channel, I don't know. I am going to send you there. The first paragraph only. Les iba a dejar toda la lectura, but only the first paragraph is okay. I will send you the complete reading for you to know it, okay? There you go. You have all the weekend to practice. You are going to send it to me on Monday, okay? I am going to receive them on Monday during the day. Or if you have the chance on Sunday, you can send it to me, okay? Si me lo quieren enviar domingo, you can do it, okay? If you want to send it to me on Sunday, go ahead and do it. This was everything for the class. Thank you very much for attending. And I am going to be waiting for you on Monday in another class. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. Todavía llegamos a Marshmallow. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.